What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my overpowered plasma rifle. Now this is a normal plasma rifle, it's not an Enclave one, so it should be easy to get the one you want and all of its mods. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fault Century 6 can we can see this, and subscribe for more Fault Century 6 content. Let's get into it. Starting off with the mods, this is the two shot plasma rifle we're going to be going over. And the two shot effect is he shoots an additional projectile, has the VATS critical hits do a plus 50% damage, and has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. This gun is going to melt anything in its path, and the mods that we're going to be using for it is the refined beta wave tuner, we're going to be using the true flamer barrel, the forceful stock, and of course our reflex sight. The really cool thing about this gun though is there is 40 mods in total so you can completely customize this to however you want to use it but we are using it as a flamer because this is how we're going to get a ton of damage out of it but also you can use this gun as a pistol rifle or a commando build so make sure you uh, customize this to however you like these are the mods i'm currently using though so yeah now let's get into the demonstrations in the first place we're starting off our demonstrations is the Charleston Capitol building. And that's because there's a ton of ghouls here and they're going to make us feel like we're in Left for Dead or something. But before we get to that, the build I'm going to be using is a bloodied rifleman's build. If you didn't know, the Flamer Barrel does use rifleman perk cards. So make sure you have those equipped when using a gun like this or you won't be getting that much damage. I mean, you will be getting damage, but not the max amount of damage. But all in all, these are the cards I'm going to be using. I'm not going to go in depth in them, so take a picture if you need to. But, with that being said, we're not going to be sneaking whatsoever. So I can just uh, go on, turn my flashlight on, I can run into him, hello sir. This is again a tanky build, so it is okay if they do hit us a couple times, we're not going to die instantly. Though, the rads can mess with us. Luckily we have uh, some things to help prevent us getting that much rads at a time. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, ghouls! Are you over here? Yeah, he's over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right away. Right away. Keeps the doctors away. Uh-oh, where are they at? Actually, I know where they're all at. They're all behind me. Oh, Lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right away. Right away. Right away. Look at that. Oh, my God. Did y'all see that? All right. This is uh, too many close calls. So what I'm going to do? First, that's crits. Instantly dead. Instantly dead. Uh oh, Radaways. Radaways? Oh, these are close calls. These are very close calls. You know what? I'm gonna do just a little bit more Radaway because there's a lot of uh, charred ghouls in here. And with that being said, let's uh, let's just go ham on them. You know, hold down the trigger. Screw the Vats hits. Holy crap. Not bad though. This gun is absolutely melting them. But this is a lot more charred ghouls than I have. Uh, planned for that's for sure we survived though i don't know how but we survived they're all goo and is there any more that want to fight me of course not see i almost ended up like these guys there was a legendary one here but i'm gonna have to find him in a minute let's test this out on a bigger target and now we made our way over to the West Tech Research Center because there's a ton of super means and there are hounds here and we gotta be very careful because if we don't kill them all well, some unlucky dweller is going to get dipped. So that being said, we got to come in here and we got to protect our fellow dwellers by killing all these super mutants. Goodbye, sir. We are going to be using this gun a ton in bats, but it's very, very good. Not in bats, too, as you can see. But with that vats critical damage, <laughs> there's no reason not to be using it in vats. So, the only reason I don't have a ton of vats cards equipped, though, is because we are running bloodied and we're not sneaking around. So if we don't sneak around, we don't really need our vats cards. We need protective cards like our serendipity or ricochet, which is what we exactly what we have. Oh, super mutants. Hey, look, we leveled up. Not bad. 276. Uh Oh, there's a hound. I'm going to turn my flashlight on because, again, it doesn't matter. Goodbye, sir. Two seconds, they're done for. Once they meet the plasma rifle. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hey, that's, that's a legendary one. Oh, there's a dude behind me. Oh, he's not dead. I don't know what's happening. I thought he was dead. Whew. What'd you get? Oh, no. Nothing good. It's always the troubleshooters. Always the troubleshooters. Goodbye, hounds. 
And these are level 100s, 75s. Not a big deal. That's a level 60. What a weekly. There we go. We got 75. Bring it on, sir. Always go for the heads when you're trying to get these fats criticals. Now I got one more guy. He's over here. And you hear him talking? Yeah, some of this dog. Level 100, Super Mutant Gladiator. Bring it on, sir! He's done for, and so is his dog. But this gun completely destroyed all of these guys. Now let's move on to a bigger target. And now we made our way south of Solomon's Pond because this is where the Super Mutant Behemoth, Kong, is. But don't be scared by his name. Kong is as sweet as a kitten. And very, very weak, to be honest. We're gonna let him smack me around just for a second. And then we're gonna melt his face off. Oh, Kong! We'll say one good hit. He might kill me in this one good hit. Who knows? So, if he does kill me, well then. Oh, we survived. You wanna do one more, Kong? How about another one? I'll give you one more, because these aren't pretty good. These aren't good hits. Alright, Kong. Oh! There we go. That's what I was looking for. He didn't do too bad. But you didn't do too good either, Kong. Goodbye now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kong is everywhere. Kong is trying to grab up. He's trying to grab me! Whew! Whew! He is goo. You can even turn the biggest of mutants into goo. Now that Kong's gone, let's move on to a bigger target. And now we made our way over to my favorite fiercer side, because this is where my Scorched Beast, Charlie, is. As you can see, Charlie's flying around. I'm trying to get her to come down, but let me grab some uh, dirty water real quick. You know, maybe some toxic goo. Uh oh, here she comes. Oh, hey, Charlie, how's it going? Goodbye, Charlie. That's critical shots. Remember, that's critical shots. That's critical shots to the head, or critical shots to the head. Anything that's going to get her to die. <gasps> oh. I almost died there. But that's okay. That's okay. I didn't die, and Charlie got away. Let me take down Charlie's friends real quick, because they're the real culprits of why she's acting like this. Oh, Charlie! I'm gonna need you to come down here so we can finish this argument. And if you don't want to, I'll get you out of the air! Oh, 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 oh! And just like that, Charlie was burnt out of the air by this plasma rifle. And guys, if you enjoyed the Fall 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fall 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.